Hey, this is Match once again. We're about to see another video. These are the paid request, this time from Bronson. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below, either there or there or wherever YouTube put it now. But this time, he wanted me to react to a Terry Underwood version of Mama, I'm Coming Home from Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne cover. It's 4 minutes and 39 seconds. <coughs> Let's get into it. 3, 2, 1, pressing play. This is a live performance, so I'm not sure if it'll sound as good as it could. I like the song from Ozzy, it's a great song. That's a two stick guitar there. Not minding it. I mean, it even says Terry's Country there, so I was just thinking, does remind me more of like a country song. Definitely prefer Ozzy's version though. She has a good voice, though. I gotta admit, she got a good voice. Some of those higher notes were hit fairly well. I just like some of the instruments used more so in Ozzy's version, and Ozzy's voice, I think, fits well with the song. But not bad at all. I mean, it's still a very good uh, emotional song, especially the lyrics. Uh, there's a definitely much more of a country music flavor to it. Which is okay. Just not as impactful for me as Ozzy's version. I'm not bit on the piano though. The, or whatever, the keyboard that they're using, I should say, the keyboard. Don't mind the guitar solo there. Sorry, electric guitar. I do like that. Nice. Sometimes. Yeah. The sunshine, yeah. There's mama. Mama, I'm coming home.
Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. I mean, she does have a fairly good voice, especially the higher pitch points of the of those notes throughout the song. The electric guitar bit I liked. I'm not I wasn't bit on the keyboard bit. It just didn't have as much of the impact and emotion. I think Ozzy really flourished with his voice. It was just brought that much more of a gusto impact to the song. This was decent. It was efficient. It was not awful, terrible to listen to, but it does make me want to just re-listen to The Real McCoy. Did not an awful cover, not a bad cover. Um, yeah, again, but definitely not replacing the original. But again, I've heard much worse covers, trust me. It wasn't that awful, at least to me. But, either way. Thanks once again, Bronson. Uh, very appreciative, man, for your kindness, as well as everyone out there. Take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.